in Dover, shock has turned to anger. This whole situation just, you know, ripped the heart out of me, the industry. I mean, at the moment, it just feels, you know, you're just numb, shock. And to be honest, it feels almost like a bereavement. Phil Lees worked on board P&O ferries for 34 years. On Thursday, he, along with hundreds of others, was sacked without warning. The decision's been met with outrage across the country. We say no! We say no! We Hundreds say protested no! at Hull King George we docks, where P&O has temporarily stopped its Rotterdam sailings. Demonstrations too in London, Larne and Liverpool. Four operators have sat down and all these men have all lost their jobs. I think it's very sad. If one company can get away with doing this at such short notice to 800 people, it's nothing to stop another company doing the same. What on earth are they going to do next? It's, you don't know where one, one day you're going to work and the next day you're out. Unions described Thursday's events as a jobs massacre. Crews were told by video it would be their final day in the job. 800 people left shocked, stunned and out of work. Pack your stuff up and, and, and be ready to leave. You know, for me, I'm in the twilight years of my career, but I've got all my you know, colleagues and I've got all the young guys coming through. And uh, the, problem be, you know, the problem is, you know, what they got, they got to put bread on the table. The company's decision has also left passengers stranded with services cancelled. Ministers joined the voices expressing outrage at P&O. The company's government contracts will now be reviewed. But it's in the heart of port communities where the pain has been felt most strongly. It means if they don't have money in their pockets, then their families are going to be in need. It also means that local shopkeepers are not going to have the benefit of people spending. This is going to impact greatly on the wider community, as well as those who have just been thrown away like that. It is wrong. It is a sin. P&O said it took the decision as a last resort to save the struggling business. Employment lawyers and the government, though, have questioned whether the move was legal. No consolation for those who've lost their livelihoods. Anger shows no sign of subsiding. Helena Wilkinson, BBC News.